my interest in, unlike the microbiome, which is the bacteria collection of microorganisms in and on the human body, the genome isn't something that, you know, is very easy or accessible or, or, or able to be changed. But the microbiome is something which is kind of called your accessory genome, right? Like it contributes a lot of different genes to the metabolism of you as an organism. And so when um, this field first started, I think 2006 was the first study I saw in this field on um, changing, transplanting the microbiome from one animal to another and their entire body composition phenotype changed. I remember thinking, hey, this is something that's really interesting and I've been tracking the field ever since. And so, of course, since then, you know, the the field's exploded. It's become so interdisciplinary. It's pulled researchers from all these different areas of science and medicine and technology and data. And usually when those things happen, it creates a very interesting uh, and fertile ground for innovation. But what's unique about what Seed does? Like, what was your premise going into this? Did you just want to make another you know, probiotic that works well or, you know, what's different about it? Yeah, no, not at all. I mean, when, so we started the company in 2016 and at the time, most microbiome companies were both my, my co-founder and I are entrepreneurs and co-founder in, in technology and me in life science and food tech. And when we were looking at applications of microbes, right? Like I wouldn't even consider ourselves a, a probiotics or even a microbiome company. We're really a, a microbial sciences company. And so we built our early team our scientific team, our scientific advisory board, our academic collaborations, our institutional partners, really under one thesis, which was that as microbiome, as microbial sciences and research into ba- microbes and their and their application accelerated, there would be a massive opportunity or, or large categories, right? Like all, not just the gut, but anywhere in your body where there's microbes, which could be in your mouth, it could be on your skin, it could be vaginal microbes for women's health.